can choose to start a new project here. The first thing to do is to choose what area the project is located in, and this will affect the default settings. Then give your project a name and click next. So in the calculation section, you can choose what flow rate calculation method you would like to design to, choose how you'd like to size your pipes, and a few other options here as well. Then under the systems, you can choose what parameters you want to size your systems to, such as velocities, pressure drops, materials. And then finally, you can choose to use some manufactured products that we have within the software. Under my projects, you can see all the projects that you specifically have created. But if you're working within a team, the organisation projects will let you view the projects that the rest of your team will be working on. And if you're looking for an older project, you can use the search bar here. If you want to make a copy of your project, press on these three black dots, choose to duplicate, and that will make a copy of your project. They now become both standalone, so changes you make in any of them won't be reflected in the other one. When it comes to filing projects, the best thing to use is this tag function here. So you could tag maybe with a project's waiting for review, what project stage it's up to, what office has completed the design. And once you've saved all of those, you can choose from the tags at the top and you'll only then be able to see projects that have that tag. To delete a project, press on the three black dots, click delete, and that will be removed from your project screen. Managers will have a show deleted button where they can reinstate.